。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是英文文法与修辞一。同学，大家好，欢迎收看《英文文法与修辞》第十八讲次语态助动词。下面请同学看单元目标。我们这个单元要帮同学理解英文语态助动词它的功能和分类，我们还要比较分析英文语态助动词 can。Could, may, might, should, ought to, have better, must, and have to, 这些的用法。下面是摘要。语态助动词，它的单复数个人称皆同，不需要有任何改变。那 can 的话是 informal， 是比较非正式的表现能力。我们讲说。呃，现在的能力呀、啊，可能性、要求、请求、允许，我们就用 can。could 它是过去的能力，或者是呃现在，可是是一种礼貌要求、礼貌请求、允许，我们就用 could。那 may 这个字的话，它是显现一种 possibility， 一种可能性。那还有 asking 哈，就是。要求 asking for permission， 我们请求人家允许做什么事情，我们就用 may 这个字。那 might 是 may 的过去式，是它的 past tense。那 should 跟 ought to、had better 这三个字哈，都是用来 giving advice， 就是给人家建议的时候用这些字。Should have， 那这是指过去。过去应该怎么做，而没有怎么做的时候，我们用 should have。那 should have is used to show a regret。通常它是用来表现出一种懊悔，就我过去该怎么做，而没有怎样做，我们就用 should have。那 must have to 这两个词，它是用来显现 show 表示这个 necessity 这个必要性，你必须要怎么做，你。应该怎么做？你就用 must have to 哈。像这个 the modal modal verb must 和 have to 这两个字哈，它是 interchangeable， 是彼此可以互换，都是指必须怎么样的意思哈。它是 used to show an obligation， 用来是显现它一个必要性 obligation。那 have to 的话，它是 have to 的。过去式。好，我们现在要请美国老师为我们朗读课文。English modal verbs include can, could, will, would, shall, should, may, might, must, need to, ought to, dare, had better, would rather. Used to, etc. These auxiliary verbs may give the main verb some shade of emotion, such as a request, permission, prohibition, guess, possibility, and ability. The English modal verb can is used to show an ability or possibility. To make a request or to ask for permission, the following are some examples. Can is used to show an ability. Mike can play basketball very well. Lisa can play the violin. Can you speak Japanese? Are you able to speak Japanese? 
Can is used to show possibility. Can he really be the one who gave all his money away to charity? It can be very difficult for you to pass the GRE without some preparation to show a possibility. Can is used to ask for permission. The formal used should be may. Can I borrow your pen for a second? Can I use the bathroom? Can is used to make a request. Can you take out the garbage for me? Cannot is used to show prohibition. The formal usage should be mustn't. In New Zealand, children under 13 cannot be left at home without adult supervision. The English modal verb could is used for the following situations. Ability in the past, I could run 10 miles a day when I was young. To make a request politely, could I see your ticket please? Could you please turn off the TV? May is used to ask for permission, show possibility, or predict something. The following are some example sentences. May I borrow your notebook? If you are done with your homework, you may go outside to play. Permission. What they've predicted may or may not happen. May is used to show possibility with some uncertainty or doubt. She may have left a message on your answering machine. May have plus past participle is used to predict or guess what happened in the past. May is the most formal modal used to make a request or ask for permission. Could is more formal than can in terms of making a request or asking for permission. Should, ought to, and had better are used to give advice. The following are some examples. You should study harder or you will fail this class. You'd better watch out. You'd better not cry. You'd better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Had better is used to give advice or warning. You ought to keep this job until you find another one. Ought to is used to give advice. Should have, past tense. I should have known that he is not reliable. Should have is used to show regret. Must, have to, necessity. The modal verbs must and have to are interchangeable and are used to show an obligation. You must go to work on time. Had to, past tense. Children had to obey their parents in the past Chinese society. English modal verbs include can, could, will, would, shall, should, may, might, must, need to, ought to, dare, had better, would, rather, used to, 等等,就是英文的语态助动词, 包括了我们前面讲的这么多词, 那these auxiliary verbs, 就这些助动词, modal verb, 也是auxiliary verb, 它又是助动词, may give the main verb some shade of emotion. 它可以给我们主要动词, 这助动词可以给主要动词, some shade, 就某一些程度的这个emotion, 它的情感上面的一些程度表现, 
such as 就比方说像是 request 表现一种要求 ，permission 允许，或是 prohibition。prohibition 的话就是禁止 ，guess 就是猜测 ，possibility 可能性 ，and ability 还有这能力。那 the English modal verb 英文的语态助动词 can 这个字，它是 used to show an ability， 用来显现你一种能力。can 是代表能力 ，or 或者是 a possibility， 或者是一种可能性。To make a request， 也可以用来是请求 request， or to ask for permission， 或是请人家允许给你让你做什么事情。The following are some examples. 下面是一些例句。Can is used to show an ability. 下面这个 can 是用来显现一种能力。我们的例句是 ：Mike can play basketball very well. Mike 他可以，他这个篮球啊打得非常好。Can 是能力。那 Lisa can play the violin. 这 Lisa 丽莎她会。这个拉小提琴，这也是一种能力。用 can， can you speak Japanese？ 那这个，它的同样也可以用这个 Are you able to speak Japanese？ 所以 can， 它的相等语是 Are you able to speak Japanese？ 你会不会讲日文？那 can is used to show possibility。下面这个 can 是用来表现一种可能性。我们看例句。Can he really be the one who gave all his money away to charity? 他可能是那个人吗？什么样的人呢？把他所有的钱、所有财产都捐给慈善机构。Charity 是指慈善，哈，慈善机构。It can be very difficult for you. 那这也是表示可能性。这可能哈，对你来讲是很困难。什么困难呢 ？To pass the GRE without some preparation. 你要通过 G G R E 的考试，那你没有准备的话，这可能是很难吧，不太可能吧。指的是 to show a possibility。那这个 can 表现的是一种可能性。那再过来，这个 can is used to ask for permission。这个 can 是用来是请求人家允许你。那这是 the formal use should be may。这是比较不正式，正式的用法应该是 may I。那 Can I 是比较稍微比较不正式哈。那 Can I borrow your pen for a second？ 我可不可以借你的笔 ？For a second 就是用一下下哈。Can I use the bathroom？ 我可不可以用这个呃 bathroom 就是指厕所、浴室哈。那记得以前我美国朋友都讲说，他小的时候会被老师处罚，老师一定要讲说 May I use the bathroom？ Can 代表能力，这是几十年前美国是这样。现在哈 ，can 跟 may 都是可以用表达请求允许。好 ，can is used to make a request。那 can 另外一种用法是，他要做出一个请求。Can you take out the garbage for me？ 你可不可以帮我把这个垃圾哈拿出去？这是请人家帮你做事情。Can you 哈？那再过来我们看 ，cannot is used to show prohibition。cannot 这个字哈，它是用来。显现出来禁止，那 formal usage should be mustn't。那这个 cannot 是比较稍微不正式一点，正式的用法应该是 mustn't 哈，你不可以怎么样做。那我们看这个 in New Zealand， 在纽西兰 ，children under thirteen cannot be left at home without adult supervision。在纽西兰，这个小孩子哈，十三岁以下的小孩子。他不可以 left at home， 不可以被留在家里面 without adult supervision。没有 adult 是成人，成人的看管看护。The English modal verb could， 下面我们看的是英文它的语态助动词 could， 它是 use for following situation， 是用来在下面这个情况下要使用的。第一个是 ability in the past。它是显现说能力哈是过去的一种能力。那我们看例句是 ：I could run ten miles a day when I was young。我年轻的时候哈，我一天可以跑十里
。那再过来，它可以用来是 make a request politely， 它是用来呃请求人家，这是用现在式哦，可是它是一种比较礼貌性的一种请求。Could I see your ticket, please？ 他说。我可不可以看一下你的车票 ，please？ 那就是说，你假在那个火车或者坐车子的时候，他那个呃查票员他会这样子很礼貌的问你 ，Could I see your ticket, please？ 而不会用说 Can I？ 那 Can I 就比较不是那么礼貌了。Could you please turn off the TV？ 那这时候也是一种礼貌的请求，你可不可以把这个电视关掉？哈。那 may is used to ask for permission. 那 may 这个字呢，它是用来呃请求哈，人家允许或是 show possibility， 或是显现一种 possibility 可能性，或者是 predict something， 或者是预测某件事情。那 the following are some example sentences. 下面我们来为同学举例说明。May I borrow your notebook? 我可不可以借一下你这个 notebook 的话，可以说是笔记本哈、哦。当然现在也可以说你电脑的笔记型电脑。If you are done with your homework， 假如你哈、哦、已经做完了你的家庭作业 ，you may go outside to play， 那你就可以哈、哦、出去玩。这是 permission， 就是他呃长辈、家长哈、哦、或父母给你允许、给你 permission 的时候，他的条件是这样子。What they predicted may or may not happen. 那下面我们这个 may 也可以表显示，就是说，他的预测可能会发生，也可能不会发生。那 may is used to show possibility. May 这个语态助动词是用来显现可能性 ，with some uncertainty. 可是这个可能性又带有 some uncertainty， 某些的不确定。Or doubt, 或是一些疑问。那我们看一下例句。She may have left a message on your answering machine. 她可能在你这个答录机上面留了一个讯息，哈，留话。这个 may have plus past participle is used to predict or guess what happened in the past. 这 may 这个字，哈 ，may have， 它 plus 加上一个过去分词 past participle。它是用来做什么呢？是用来 predict 预测，或是 guess， 或是猜测 what have what happened in the past， 就是在过去发生了哪些事情。它预测可能有这样子的事情，它可能留了一留了那个话在你的答录机上哦。May is the most formal model used to make request。那这个 may 这个字哈，它在所有这个。语态助动词里面是最正式的一个语态助动词 ，used to 用来是做什么呢？是 make a request， 用来是做一个请求，或是 ask for permission， 或是呃请人家允许你做某件事情。那 could 呢？它是 more formal than can。could 它比这个 can 是更正式。In terms of 就什么而言呢 ？In terms of making a request or asking permission， 你就说你请人家允许你，或是呃请求人家做什么事情，或者请求人家允许的话 ，could 会比那 can 或者是比较那个这些会比较更正式、更礼貌一点哈。像 should、ought to， 还有 had better 这三个字哈，它是用来 give advice， 是用来提出建议。我们下面看一些例子 ，following up some example. 他 ，you should study harder. 你应该要更努力学习哈，更用功 ，or 否则 you will fail this class. 或者你这门课哈就会不及格。这 should 就是给人家建议说你应该怎么样。那 you'd better, uh, watch out. 这个是我们很有名的歌词哈，圣诞节的时候 ，you'd better. 它这个应该是 had better， 可是通常跟主词连在一起变缩写，变成 you better watch out。你最好注意哈、哦， you better not cry。你最好不要哭哦， you better not pout。你最好不要撅着嘴巴生气哈、哦。I'm telling you why。我告诉你为什么 Santa Claus is coming to town。圣诞老公公要来哦。那这个时候 had better 哈、哦，它是 used to， 它
这个上面歌词里面 “have better” 是用来 give advice， 用来提出建议或者是警告，说 warning 就是你最好怎么样哦。父母常常警告小朋友哈 ，You are to keep this、uh, job， 你最好先保留这份工作 until you find another one。呃，知道你哈，找到另外一份工作，就是说你不要一下马上辞职哈，就骑着，呃，骑着驴然后找马，然后就是说工作先不要辞掉哈。然后 ought to 这个字的话，它是用来也是 give advice， 也是在提出建议。那 should have 它是一个 should 的一个过去式 past tense。那我们看一下例句 ：I should have, I should have known. That he is not reliable, 就是懊恼说啊，我应该知道这个人不可靠。那 should have 它是用来是 show regret， 显现说这个懊悔 ，regret 就懊恼啊，我早就该知道说这个人真是不可靠哈。那我们再看这个 must 跟 have to 这两个语态助动词，它表现的是 necessity 必要性。The the mo the vo modal verb must and have to are interchangeable. 就这两个词，它通常是 interchangeable. Change 是改变。那 a b l e 加上以后，就从动词改变变成可改变的这个形容词哈。那 inter 是代表两者之间可以互相变换，所以就是指说 interchangeable 就是两者之间可以互换。意思就是说这个 have to 哈，它这个。跟 must 是可以互换，它是 used to show an obligation， 是用来显现说一种 obligation， 它的一种义务责任哈。那我们这边例句看 ，You must go to work on time。你哈一定要 go to work 上班 ，on time 准时上班。Have to 的话是 must 跟 have to 的过去式，过去式。我们看例句 ，Children。Had to obey their parents in the past Chinese society. 好，这个就是说，呃，在过去中国的社会里面，小孩子必须要服从父母。好，我们现在休息一下。Model 这个字哈是也是我们文法上的专用词，它指的是形式的或是语态的。To request. Request 是请求。Three permission. Permission 它是允许、许可。Four formal. Formal 正式的。Five in terms of. In terms of, 记住那个 terms 后面要加个 s 哈。In terms of 这个片语哈，意思是由什么什么观点来看，依据什么。Six pout. Pout 就是说你板着脸、嘟着嘴巴，很不高兴，这就 pout。Seven regret. Regret 懊悔的、懊恼的意思。Eight interchangeable. Interchangeable 哈，这个字我们可以从 inter inter 是两个中间 ，change 是改变 ，able 是变成形容词 ，change 是动词哈，加上 able 的话就变成转变成形容词，那 interchangeable 就是两者可以彼此互相交换的。Nine obligation obligation 是义务责任的意思。Ten obey Obey 是服从、遵守，就是说你要 obey your parents， 你要服从你的父母。我们这时候用这个动词 obey。好，我们现在为同学复习完了 key words。我们下接下来要请台北技术学院的具慧恩同学来为我们唱英文歌。我们要来唱歌学英文。那这首歌曲是 Santa Claus is coming to town。You better watch out, 
You better not cry, you better not pound, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, he's checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty or not. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you'll be bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not fall. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pound. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He making a list. He's checking it twice. Gonna find out who's not in all nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you're being bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pound. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. 好，现在我来为同学讲解歌词。You better watch out. 这个 you better 是 had better 哈，你最好怎么样？我们这语态助动词，给人家建议或是警告哈。那 had 它会跟主词连成一个字缩写 ，you'd。You better watch out， 就警告，就是父母长辈警告说。小孩子，你最好给我，呃 ，watch out， 就是注意一点哈。You better not cry， 最好不要哭。You better not p a r 你不要哈撅着嘴巴一天到晚生气。I'm telling you why， 我告诉你哈，为什么？因为 Santa Claus is coming to town。圣诞老公他来我们这个城镇已经来喽。He's making a list， 他哈会列一张表。Make a list 就是列一张表。让这个，当然表示上是说谁是乖小孩，谁是不乖的小孩啊。He's checking twice. He 指的圣诞老公公。Check, checking it. It 后面的 it 就是指那张表。他会查这个表哈。Twice 就是说他会再三，就是他会重复的检查这张表。Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. 他一定要找出来谁很乖。Snotty 就是谁顽皮或是谁很乖。Gonna 哈，他其实前面应该有说 He's gonna find out， 就说应该有个主词，可是，在歌词里面他就是呃省略到哈。那 Gonna 是口语里面 going to going to find out who's naughty or nice， 他要就圣诞老公要找出来谁是乖或是谁谁顽皮或是谁不乖。然后 Santa Claus is coming to town， 圣诞老公公他来。已经来到我们这个城镇喽。He sees you when you are sleeping. 他看他看得到你。When you are sleeping， 你睡觉的时候。He 当指圣诞老公。你睡觉的时候，圣诞老公也会看着你。He knows when you are awake. 那圣诞 He 还是指圣诞老公公。圣诞老公他知道你醒来的时候，他也知道。那 He knows when you being bad or good. 他知道你不乖还是乖。So be good for goodness sake. 就是。所以哈，你一定要好好 be good, be good for goodness sake。就是你为了要拿到他礼物，你就要乖乖的。Oh, you better watch out。就重复了哈，你最好注意哈，你最好不要哭，你最好不要嘟着嘴巴。我告诉你为什么 Santa Claus is coming to town。圣诞老公公来喽，圣诞老公公来了。好，这首歌哈，非在几乎是每个。美国人都会唱的非常好听的一首那个圣诞歌曲，也可以让同学学会那个语态助动词 “you had better” 怎么样的用法。好，我们这个学期就到这里结束，谢谢各位收看。